Are you prepared for the decisions you'll be forced to make as your pet ages? How and when to put him down? How to memorialize him properly? Well, if you've got those questions, I've got an expert here to answer the questions. Marianne Anderson is from Companions Rest Pet Cemeteries. Welcome, Marianne. It's great to have you on the show again. Thank you, Amy. Nice to be here. Um, now, you brought a little companion with you. This is Lucinda, your yes. own dog. Yes, this is this is my dog, and then Lucinda owns a cat. Now, she, she owns a cat. Yes, she thinks it's hers. I know that you are a longtime pet lover yes. and owner. And, you know, we hate, we just hate the thought of what's going to happen as our pet ages because we do want those great pets to live forever, but they don't. Um, what kinds of issues have you faced with your own dogs as they age? Well, I, th I think the hardest issue is you're always looking at the end. You know that the time is going to come. You know it from the time that you get a itty bitty little puppy, you're thinking, oh, I hope it outlasts me or, you know, in your mind, you know, somewhere along the line that it is going to end. And so I think one of the most important things people can do is accept that and pre-plan for it so it all isn't a shock and a great trauma to them when they're going through it. Exactly. There's no reason this should take you by surprise. Not I mean, at all. I think it through. I, your, your pet ages, he's starting to get decrepit, maybe he's soiling the house, the vet bills are piling up. You may not mind paying for that, uh, but at some point in time, your vet may tell you, you know, the best thing is to let this pet go. Yes. It's hard to do. It's very difficult to do. And even having a professional tell you that, um, it isn't something that you want to hear and you don't know how to react because oftentimes you haven't gone through this process before. And sometimes, oftentimes, the pet will be in real bad shape. Yes. You're thinking he's got weeks or days. Yes. And he bounces right back like he Re returns to a state of health right. that he had years ago. No wonder we have hope after hope. Yes, yes we do. And, and, and you know, pets are resilient and they do always want to please you. So, I, you know, they might not always be presenting how they really feel. So you have to, you know, keep common sense with in mind with that. I, I think, you know, when it comes when I have to face the decision for this dog or when I faced it in the past, I, I think my main premise was always, is it having more bad days than good? Oh, that's a good More benchmark. bad days, I think right there is your, your measurement. So let's say that the dog is clearly having a lot more bad days than good. What's his yes. quality of life? It would be selfish to keep this pet alive. I have to make the appointment to take him to the vet. Oh, what do we do now? Right, right. And that's, that's something that, uh, you want to think about in advance because you have the option of taking it to the vet for an act of euthanasia or having it done in your home. I had two people in my building who lost older dogs mm -hmm. this year. One it rushed the 15-year-old dog to the vet in an emergency mm. state. The other, she, her dog was going downhill very, very quickly. And the fortunate thing was uh, she had the vet come. She had a number of friends in her home at the time. She held the dog in her arms. Of course, you could hold the dog in your arms at the vet sure, clinic, sure. but it was very peaceful and it was very lovely. But there's also a downside of that, a reality that some people don't think about. What right. is it? Well, first of all, uh, you know, if you want to have it done in your home, know that there are veterinarians that will accommodate you. Sure. And Something to bear in mind, though, too, is the size of the dog, the activity level of the dog, how the dog is, is, is reacting. Sometimes with a dog that's a little more aggressive because he's not feeling well and whatnot, sometimes you want to consider taking them to the veterinary office. Yeah, so they're not on firm ground. Right, so right. they're not on their, their own turf. Yeah. Um, so it modifies the behavior immediately. And then if the veterinarian does need assistance, he has assistance, professional assistance there that can help him. Doing it at home again, you know, what a, what a great thought. Your dog is comfortable there. You aren't stressing him out, removing him to another location and whatnot. So, you know, if that's, you know, what you want, nice to do it and nice like your friend had a support group there with her. Sure. It, and you were telling me a story about having a support, not group, 
<sighs> but person, when it person. came to putting your last dog down, yes. you just couldn't put that basset hound down. I just, I could not do it, and um, I asked... And a, you knew uh, it was time. I know, oh, it was definitely time. And I asked a very, very close friend of mine and the dogs if he would take the dog to the vet for me. And he said uh, no, and on his first try, he was uh, back very quickly, and the dog was with him. He just couldn't get it done. On the second try, he was gone quite a long time, and finally came home and told me how he had taken the dog out for his his last supper. <laughs> they enjoyed um, one what of the restaurant fast food restaurants. Oh, McDonald's, McDonald's, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Through. But you know, it's, it's everybody does it differently, and I think that's the biggest thing. We're all individuals. We're all going to handle the circumstance in a different manner, and whatever works out best for you is the way to do it. But just a caution, when you do have your dog at home, dogs relax when this occurs, and bodily functions occur, so you really want to be prepared for the those mess. kind of situations too, right? Yeah, that's the reality that's part the of it. That's the reality, yes. We're going to take a short break. We're going to take this break to pay tribute to some of my friends and colleagues' dogs who were lost over the past year. Dear beloved dogs, 